Meanwhile, a battle is brewing between Eva Beach residents and Hawaiian Electric, along with developer D.R. Horton. Residents of the Ho'opili subdivision say Hiko and the developer are not following through on their obligation to put power lines underground. Manolo Morales reports. D.R. Horton plans to build up to 12,000 homes in the Eva Beach community known as Ho'opili. Many of those living there now say they were told that power lines would be built underground. It was kind of part of the sale, you know, beautiful vista. Um, and now, just last minute, they're singing a different tune and claiming that they need to put these massive industrial poles right through our community. This is just the base. Residents say the power line pole will be 65 feet high, which is about twice the height of these light posts. Ng says about 500 residents have already signed a petition calling for the power lines to be buried. They say having them above ground is not only unsightly, it also brings the value of the property down. Look at Waikiki or, um, or out by Ko'olina. Like, they have underground power lines, so why do we deserve less as residents than the tourists do? So that's the broader issue here. We pay more for our homes. Hawaiian Electric says the cost to put the power lines overhead is $6.7 million. Underground, it will cost $25 million. In a statement, a spokesman said, we followed the regulatory process. Under state law, the Public Utilities Commission determines whether higher voltage transmission lines shall be built above or below ground. D.R. Horton sent a statement saying, D.R. Horton remains focused on finding solutions to address Hawaii's housing shortage and keep homes as affordable as possible. Overhead line extensions for the project were determined to be the most prudent option to achieve this goal. The PUC held a public hearing and says no one opposed HECO's proposal to put the lines above ground. PUC adds that a consumer advocate for the state recommended to put the lines overhead because no other party was willing to pay for the additional cost. Late Thursday afternoon, HECO said that they have temporarily paused construction to work with a developer to address community concerns. Residents plan to meet with HECO and D.R. Horton on Monday. Manolo Morales, K. Joint 2 News, working for Hawaii.